Hello everyone. Welcome to 6th Standard First English Class. My name is Uttara. Okay, before beginning the first chapter, let me tell you two things. First one is, whenever you get a chance to speak in English, please make use of it. Don't feel shy to speak in English because mistakes are the stepping stones of learning, isn't it? So don't feel shy to speak in English. Improve your language by speaking it. Next one I want to tell you is, learn at least five new English words daily. You will get the meaning by referring a dictionary or you can Google it, isn't it? You will get the meaning with examples. So try to learn at least five new English words daily. So are you ready children? Shall we start our first lesson? Okay. Who did Patrick's homework written by Carol Moore? Before beginning the chapter, shall I ask you something? Do you like homework? Do you do it yourself or do you get help? Okay, let's get started. Carol Moore was born on 2nd July 1871 and she died on 20th January 1961. She was an American educator, writer and advocate for children's libraries. Patrick was a young boy. He never did his homework. Oh, it's too boring, he said. He played basketball and Nintendo all the time. His teachers advised often, Patrick, do your homework regularly or you won't learn a thing. It was indeed true. He did feel like an ignoramus with his friends around. But what could he do? He hate homework. One fine day, when he was engrossed with his Nintendo, he found his pet cat, Tom, playing with a little doll. He quickly grabbed it. To his surprise, it wasn't a doll at all, but a little elf. He was wearing a shirt, a tall hat and breeches. He was scared of a cat and needed help. He requested Patrick to save him and in return he promised to grant him a wish. Patrick felt happy and called himself a fortunate one. He asked the elf to do his homework in return. The elf offered to do his homework for one semester that is for 35 days. However, a problem arose when the elf told that he knew nothing of maths and history. He needed help to do these subjects. Patrick agreed and brought many books to read and consult. He sat next to elf and put in a hard toll to complete the work. Exactly after 35 days, when the semester was over, the elf went away quietly. Patrick scored grade A in all the subjects. Everyone appreciated him. He became a very different person who was hardworking and generous. It is Elf who helped Patrick to score high marks, but in reality it was Patrick himself who did all the good and changed his score. Hope you all enjoyed the story. Before the next class, please read the story at least three times. Okay, let's discuss more about the story in the next class. Thank you.